Okay, today one of the things I kind of want to discuss more in like the comment section, um, but it's something that I'm really interested in, especially since, as some of you might know, I did my undergraduate degree with a specialty in game development, and we did have some courses on game design. So something I was thinking about um, when I was watching a presentation by the guy that created DayZ or DayZ, um, the mod of Arma 2, is he was asked a question whether there would be any female characters in Day Z. That's something that I find really interesting. Um, you know, you know, the introduction nowadays of more female characters and customizable characters in video games. And it's something I kind of want to hear your opinion on. I'm kind of torn. You know, like as a woman, I really like being able to <laughs> play a woman in my favorite video games. But at the same time, sometimes I feel like it sort of takes away from the actual story that you're trying to tell. Now, for example, um, Daisy is very immersive and it is much more of an online multiplayer game. Like, it, it, it is just online. Um, and so to me that makes more sense because it's really immersing you in the game and the world and letting you play as essentially yourself, your virtual self. But then I think of some games like Halo or Mass Effect, and I know Mass Effect has FemShep, um, and it's kind of funny because whenever I think about Mass Effect now, I've only ever played with female Shepherds. So when I picture the game, when I picture scenes, I picture it with her, like my customized character. Whereas when you actually see the game played, you know, at, at E3 or something, like when they're presenting them, um, you always see the male Shepherd, almost always. And that's really who the story is about. I mean, the original story is often told with the male character. Same kind of thing when I think about Halo, any of the Halos, and you have Master Chief. I don't know how I'd feel if Master Chief could be made a woman because it suddenly wouldn't feel like I'm telling his story anymore. It would be like I'm telling my rendition of his story. And that's kind of where I don't really know how I feel because I do like the ability, like I said, to play as a woman. But where do you draw the line? Where does it go from being immersive and still following the story that you're trying to tell with the character described as you want it to be described in the actual game and you know where do you kind of take that and make it fully immersive and make the character really a virtual version of yourself um, so this isn't really much of a vlog but it's a question I want to ask you guys and see what your opinions are because it's something that I'm actually legitimately interested in and uh, it'll be interesting to see what you guys think so if you have any comments and you want to give your two cents, just leave a comment below down there and uh, I will be responding and stuff because I'm interested to see what you guys say. So thanks for watching and I will see you again soon.